I just have a small message for you. You are important to us. You are important for yourself, you are important for your family and for your kids. So you have to live and in order to live, you have to have an early diagnosis and access to good sustainable medicines which are available for you all around the world. A lot of people are making an effort and a lot of organizations like MPP are also making an effort for you. I'm Professor Zeba Aziz and I've worked in Pakistan for the last 25 years as a medical oncologist and I am a member of the expert advisory group which is called the EAG and uh, we generally advise the MPP on what products to move forward and how to get a license and what other stuff we do. Chronic myeloid leukemia is not very common, but because of the newer treatments with the tyrosine kinase inhibitors which are now available, it is one of the major success stories in medical oncology where patients can be cured. In one study, the lifespan of the patients is similar to that of the normal population. So basically, it's very exciting to treat chronic myeloid leukemia. You have to take pills which are imatinib, nilotinib, disatinib, etc., first and second generation. And basically, they target the cancer cell. So as a result, the quality of life is not affected because what you are doing is treating just the cancer cells and not the other cells, unlike other chemotherapy options which we have in leukemia. Nilotinib was originally developed by Novartis and it is a second generation tyrosine kinase inhibitor. It is important for patients with chronic myeloid leukemia that when they fail the first generation, they have another option and get treated by nilotinib or other second generation. The second thing is if you develop a resistance or you have intolerance to one drug, patients should have an access to another drug. And that is very important. Access to expensive medicines is always a challenge for patients living in low middle income countries. The out of pocket expenditure and low health coverage is a major problem in that part of the world, which a lot of people don't realize it. MPP is an organization which has a sustainable model and due to that sustainability you're not going to have one day medicines available and the next day there's no access to medicines. Secondly, before the patent finishes or before the patent expires, MPP will already be providing a low cost, highly efficacious nilotinib to everybody who deserves it. You have a lot of uh, drug companies participating and only the ones which are quality assured are accepted by MPP and given the license to produce the drug. So while you're providing cheap drugs, you're also providing quality and sustainability, which is very important because you can't just lift the patient high and dry without any medicine. And MPP has a unique role and MPP you also can trust that they will do the right thing.